What up, people? It's Nick. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, same here. Same here. So, uh, yeah. I just got back from a cruise. My very first cruise ever. And I was very nervous and excited about this cruise. So, I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. Nick, you should be a shit ton more tan. Well, I got one thing to say about that. Yo, this is super tan for me. Look at this. I am no longer glowing white. I am more like a dull off white. See, it's beautiful. This is beautiful. Yeah, I can't stop looking at myself. So this is what tanned people feel like. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, seven seven days of adventure, you know, to say the least, definitely an adventure. Uh, our travel agent pretty much blatantly lied to us, so it's not the boat's fault. But yeah, I couldn't even really get into my room unless I got up and walked in. So instead of it becoming a very, you know, booze-filled vacation, it quickly became a not so much booze and peak physical training session for me <laughs> so yeah yeah you know you gotta make the best of it and it i mean it all happened so quick so like all this next thing i know i'm sitting outside of a door that i could barely fit through if i was standing up straight walking straight in with these shoulders oh yeah it was beautiful was, i love surprises Surprises make the world go around because you have to adapt to them. That means you learn something. You learn to do new things. Like this week, I learned that no matter what, I can walk into my room or walk out of my room while <laughs> while Poseidon is pissed and shaking that goddamn boat like it was nobody's business. Yo, oh, yeah, didn't fall once, but yeah, there were some times. There were some times. There were some times that if there wasn't a wall beside me, I would have gone over. Possibly bored. Overboard. Exactly. So anyway. Uh, yeah. I learned also that I can go up steps. That's right. There was a six inch step to get into the toilet. Yeah. Yep. That's. Yeah. They were like, you know what, Nick? No more vacation for you. You give me. Uh, you give us your money. And we're going to turn this into one of the most amazing physical therapy sessions you're ever going to occur because you don't know what's going to happen. And this is all brand new to us too. So this is all a brand new experience for both of us. It was beautiful. We were all sharing a moment. It was awesome. Except for the fact that I was pissed. I, everybody else, yeah, it was beautiful. But me, I was just like, ah, I want to drink on this cruise. So anyway, I was able to tackle that step. Like, it was just my job to do it. So, yeah. I couldn't access any of the pools. Couldn't get through any of the doors. The only things that really opened for me without anybody's help were elevators. So, I could I could go up and down floors like you wouldn't believe. I became a champ. All right? I became a champ. <laughs> but all the bad stuff put aside, I met a lot of beautiful people. Beautiful people just amazing uh just it's amazing how much peace you can have on a very very crowded boat with people that just want to be happy there were dance parties like i was i was dancing to songs i have never heard before in languages that i never knew existed it was perfect perfect i was starting to fit, wonder why i'm not that happy <laughs> And damn it, I am happy. But long story short, met some amazing people. They added me on Facebook, which makes us officially friends. Duh. So, yeah. Turned into one hell of an experience. I learned I could tackle stairs and not have a ton of help like I thought I was going to need to. Yeah, going up is one thing. Going down off the step, I thought I was going to fall. Didn't. No. Nope. I just needed to touch the ground with my toe before I could feel a little bit more confidence in standing straight up. See, confidence makes the world go round. Guarantee this. So yeah, met beautiful people, drank some interesting drinks, ate some interesting food, 
And yeah, uh, God, at least I didn't get seasick. <laughs> so yep, yeah, um, one more small thing I, I, I need to cover because I promised myself I would. Uh, my friend Nick Desmond, yeah, I just I, I need I need to express express my my feelings towards his driving skills. Uh, he's he's an amazing dirt biker. This man, you throw him on a dirt bike. You just gave him wings. You're not stopping him at all. He knows everything about every dirt bike that's ever been made on this planet. He, that's his passion. But I'm promising you this. Do not get behind the wheel of a vehicle with him. That is terrifying. It's terrifying. I feel like I'm on the back of the dirt bike with him, except for he's intentionally trying to kill us. Uh, you know? <laughs> Love you, bro. But, dude. Wow. I have never spent 25 hours of my life wide awake just so you don't kill us. So I can warn you that something is about to happen. And you know what I'm talking about. This is so beautiful. But anyway, backing up a second. So, yes, I apologize for the lack of updates. I had my finals, which seemed like it took a year to do. But I passed. Got a 3.3 .3 average. That's not bad because I, I feel a lot smarter than I was in high school when I decided, you know, college just, you know, was just fun and not actually a fun educational experience. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's June's, June 1st. I have this brand new mission involved. Uh, I will be on the ground every other night. I will be walking every other night. I am getting out of this wheelchair soon. You're going to be watching my big ass walk down this hallway with stilts. Not stilts. Stilts is the wrong thing. Stilts not crutches. That's what I'm looking at. Stilts. Don't they make you taller? Yeah, that's so Yeah. Because my balance is so amazing that throw stilts on me, bro. I got this. What? What? Gravity? Gravity? No, no. You know, screw gravity. Screw gravity. Who needs that? Yeah. No, uh, crutches. For my arms not underneath the arms but underneath the elbows you know i might even be able to do a cane i'm not quite sure because i gained a lot of strength a lot of abilities and uh yeah muscles that i just never knew existed because when you're trying to stand and pee on a boat while it's rocking trying to shake all the stupid people off yeah you tend to you tend to work those balance muscles pretty damn well yeah so i feel strong i feel great amazing even though i was sick like dying sick 24 hours ago and oh yeah once again nick steps in if he couldn't try to kill me in a car he's gonna try to kill me with a virus because yeah, yeah sick i was delusional sick i was in bed thinking i was still on the boat sick long story short i love des he's a great kid good kid like a little brother to me that I just can't punch in the face. But, yeah, anyway. So I could talk for hours about this. It's been 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Just want to say thank you all so very much for watching this. It's a long time. I mean, I tried to make it funny, but I'm not really that funny at all. At least this. That thing right there. At least that's semi-pleasant to look at. Shaved up. Cleaned up. Yep. Put on a little, uh... No, I didn't put on anything. Those are still tired eyes from being sick. So, anyway. Um, thank you all so very much for your support. Thank you all so very much for giving your time watching this long, stupid-ass video for no apparent reason. And, uh, yeah, I will be bringing up more workout videos. I'll be walking. Maybe, even maybe, it might be like NASCAR where people only go there to watch people crash and burn. Yeah, so maybe, just maybe, we'll pull a NASCAR in the hallway with some... Uh, some stilts. No. There's no way I can do that. <laughs> but crutches, yeah. I could easily fall with crutches. But, anyway. All the new friends I just made. You guys are beautiful. Every one of you. So, hopefully we'll keep in touch. That being said. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, stay strong. Stay motivated. And stay positive. Because positivity is where it's at. It just is. People like you a lot more when you're positive. 
you know, because when you're an asshole, people just kind of just don't want to deal with you. So smile a lot more. So stay positive. And remember, in order to be an achiever, you must first be a believer. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.